Okay, question five. Uh, before I go on though, I just did a wee note on the last video. Um, just, just kind of, I think the way I worded this wasn't very good. I kept saying half. Um, was kind of thinking ahead to to this point part where you half. I think I did mention it in the video. Um, later on, but just I was playing through the beginning. I thought oh, I probably said it more times than I should have. So it's not halving. It's it's looking for a common factor. It's effectively the square root, isn't it? So we're looking for the square root of this number, which is three. Okay. So x squared minus nine. You could have x squared minus 25 minus 36. It's always going to be a square number in here because then this number needs to have to be the same to multiply each other together. So it's going to be you know two threes or two fours, two fives, two six, two sevens. So this is always going to be a square number, you know, 36, 49, um, you know, 81. Okay, it's always going to be um two numbers, two of the same numbers multiplied together. Okay, so sorry when I said half, so I did not mean half. Um, I meant two numbers that multiplied together to give you that. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, just when you're when you're going through and you're rattling through, and I'm kind of thinking, and it's easy to, to just kind of say things at a turn. So sorry about that one. Um, I'm sure you didn't find it that confusing. Okay, um, but just just for me to be clear. Um, yeah. So the diagram below uh, shows a circle. Um, okay. Now actually, I really enjoy these questions. I think they're they're always quite interesting. I I always say it. It's just interesting seeing how people solve them. Okay. So let's just see what we've got. A, a, B, and C, D. Uh, sorry, A, B, and C, B are tangents to the circle. Okay, now the minute you see tangents, I'm just going to highlight them in orange. Okay. The minute you see tangents, you should be thinking of your tangent rule. Oops, that's not very good. Is that undone? I don't know why that's not undoing, but okay. Um, you should be thinking of your tangent rule. Okay, so the tangent rule is when a tangent meets a circle, it meets the radius of that circle at 90 degrees. Okay, so I know right away that that's 90 degrees because OA is obviously a radius because it goes from the center of a circle to a circumference, right? And they've not drawn it in, but obviously this, oops, you know what? I'll actually just use the line feature on this because. It appears I'm unable to draw straight lines. Okay. That's not the line feature, but that's actually quite a good line. Well, anyway, um, so yeah, we know that those are both going to be 90 degrees. Okay. And again, you should then be thinking, oh, what kind of shape is that? Oh, it's a kite. Okay. That's pretty interesting. Mm. So that's our first, first part of the... Um, of the information we put onto the diagram. Uh, AC and ED are parallel. So we're a parallel into that's parallel line and that's parallel. Now what I'll do is I'll maybe just, I'll put them in purple, all right, just so we've got some kind of frame of reference, okay? Oops. Again, you'll see that I am excellent at using the pen. Absolutely excellent. Um, that's also terrible. It really is. It's a lot harder than it looks to use the to use the pen. And that's not even that. It's just, wait, I can just move it. You know what I'll do? Yep, I will move it with the mouse. No, I will not. <laughs> I'll just I'll just leave it. You know, I'll just I'll put a purple mark on here just to remind us that these lines are parallel. Okay, so that's meant to be like a little line with an arrow through it, right? Five dogs terrible as well. I'm so sorry. I'm just. Sometimes the pen really does get the better of me, right? So purple is parallel, right? There we go. That's not so bad. Oh, sorry about that. Um, parallel, and we know that angle in there. That's fine. And we're going to calculate the shaded angle. Okay. So let's have a quick think about some of our rules. Okay. Um, before we move on. Okay, easiest rule to remember is the 180 rule, okay? And then I'm not even trying, that's a perfect straight line, right? On a straight line, angles add up to 180, okay? Around a circle, angles are going to add up to 360, okay? So this, 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 we give us 360. So those are the two easiest ones. The next ones you've got your F angles or your corresponding angles. So those two angles will be the same, okay? And when you think, when you see parallel lines, you should be thinking of those. Okay, so we've got parallel lines, so that might come in handy. And in this case, those are the parallel lines there. And then your Z angles, two parallel lines, 
or the um, alternate angles, as it's, as it's called, these two would be the same. Okay. Um, vertically opposite angles. So this would be the same as this. Okay. And that would be the same as that. Okay. So those are our rules. Okay. So try and apply you know these as much as you can. We've also got triangles in here as well. Um, so triangle rules. Let's think instead of triangle, it's going to add up to one hundred and eighty. Yeah, that's going to come in handy, I think. Uh, we've also that I quite like this rule, where you've got a diameter. So you've got a diameter in a circle. Any two lines like this, okay? So where the base of a triangle is the diameter of a of a circle, and then these two lines come off that diameter and touch the the circumference. Okay, so that triangle would be an example. This triangle would be an example. Okay, all these triangles, this is ninety degrees. Okay, every time. Okay, so that's that's, a, that's quite a good rule that everyone forgets. Okay, so as that triangle moves round, all those angles on the circumference are ninety degrees. Okay, as long as the base is the full diameter. Okay, uh, we talked about the tangent as well. So we've got the circle, we've got the tangent, we've got the radius. So we know that's ninety and that's ninety. Am I forgetting anything? Oh, and the only other thing that's very important. Is radii okay are the same length okay so they're all the same length they're all radii okay so if they're all the same length okay if we draw a line between them but I'll do a, do a different color for this if we draw a line between them okay so that'd be like a chord we've just made isosceles triangles haven't we because that length is the same as that length so those two lengths are the same so if those two lengths are the same these two angles are the same okay now people always forget that Okay, so uh, how do for time? Seven minutes, right? So that's just a quick rundown of some of our rules that we're probably going to have to use. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is just look to where we, we've got some information and then try and chase. Okay, now the first thing they told us is that this angle is 143. So I would instantly want to fill out this angle in here. Okay, so that's going to give us 37. Okay. I then might think, okay, well, talking about radii, what if I drew a line between here and here? Okay, this angle is going to be the same as this angle because that's a radius and that's a radius. Okay, so 180 minus 37. 7 and 1, that's 3, 4, 1. So that's going to give us 143. Divide that by 2, it's going to give us 50, mm, 20. 1.5 mm. doesn't look quite right. 71.5. Interesting. Okay, so maybe you know, I'll I'll stick with it. Maybe that's a dead end because it's kind of odd they, they give you those kind of numbers. But that's 71.5. I know that one is also 71.5. Okay. What else can I use? What else have I got then? So I'm thinking maybe that's a dead end because it is a bit strange. Okay. Um, what about our parallel lines then? Okay. So we talked about Z and F angles. So with our parallel lines, okay, just think what's going to be the same here. We've got a parallel line here. So mm, can we make a Z angle from this? Okay, so we've got parallel line angle in our 37. That would mean this angle in here was also 37. Yeah. Interesting. So are we any closer to working this out? Possibly. So if that's 37 and we know this whole angle is 90, then this is going to give us 50, so it should be 53. That's going to be this angle in here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Actually, sorry. Yeah, because we know this whole thing is 90, so then that'd be 53. Now, the thing to remember with uh, kites is they're symmetrical. Okay, so about this axis here, it's symmetrical. Okay, I'm just going to take that. Oh, I'll take that out. Yeah, I'll just say that. But just about that axis, it's symmetrical. Okay. Okay. 
So if that's 53 on here, this angle up here is also going to be 53. Okay. Now, if that's 53 and that's 53, that's 106. Okay. Now, we have just worked out two angles in an isosceles triangle because we've actually got an isosceles triangle here. Okay, that length is going to be the same as that length, okay? Because it needs to touch. If, it, if they're both tangents to a circle, it can only touch the circle once. And that means these are the same length, okay? So that's another little interesting factoid about your, your tangents, okay? This is going to be symmetrical because it's that's the same length, so they're all the same angles. So we've got 106 between this and this. So it means this angle is going to be 74. Okay. I'm going to see what the marking scheme says in terms of a different way to work it out. Oh, no, that's actually the way they worked out as well. See, I like these because there's usually a few different ways to do it, though. Um, so that's one way. Uh, I'm tempted to try a different way. Let me have a wee think. Okay, I'm going to try. I think this might work. I'll try this way. So imagine we just made, so we, we said obviously the kite's the same both, both ways, okay? So what's just half the kite, okay? So about half that kite, I've now made that angle 90 degrees, okay? If I made that 90, it means that this angle in here is going to be 53, okay? Which means this will be the same, this will be 53 as well, okay? Now, I've actually made myself a right angle triangle here, yeah? This is 53, this is 90, so that angle in here has to be 37. Okay, that angle in there would have to be 37. Because that's 90, 53, and 37. And 37 times 2, 74. Okay, so that's another way of doing it. Ah, and the very final way, obviously, if we've got a kite, angles in a kite are up to 360, and if you forget that, just think about it being a it's, you know, kite's basically a, a, you know, it's not a square, but it's, you know, it's got four angles like a square. So 90, 90, 90, 90, it's going to add up to 360. So if you forget, just think well, how many angles inside a square. That's got four sides as well, okay? It's just like a square that's been pushed, isn't it, if you think about it? Um, why is that not a reason? Okay, so we drew a kite. We know that's 90, that's 90, so that's 180. So this angle and this angle have to be 180. And we worked out here. So that's 53 and 53. So that's 106. So 180 minus 106 is going to give us 74. Okay. So there's three ways of doing it. Okay. There's thinking about it as a kite, thinking about it as a right angle triangle with your tangent, and then using the um, the parallel lines to angle chase. Now, when I angle chase, I tried this, didn't work out. I thought this is a bit strange. They don't usually get you to decimalize your points. They might do, but I thought it's probably not right. But I looked at this angle and thought, well, they want, us, want me to work out this angle, definitely, 180 rule. And then, that's a bit strange, where can I go from here? I know I've got parallel lines, let's try and use them. Okay, so angle chase, you know, try different things. Um, but yeah, that's, that's three, three ways of doing it, which are actually all very, very similar. Okay, so again, if you're not sure what you're doing, just try and work out something. And maybe you'll, you'll spot a pattern or you'll, you'll spot something, okay? But the, the most important thing from here I think is that people forget the tangents that line, line is the same length as that line. Okay. Um, so this angle and this angle are both 90 because they're tangents to the radii. Okay. So I think this is something that people forget and that the, the kite is symmetrical down, down this length here. Okay. So the thing people get wrong is they think this angle equals that angle. That's not always true. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's, um, that's three ways of doing it, and I'll just zoom out a little bit. Got about twenty seconds left, and then just a quick recap of the rules. Okay, so your one eighty rule, three sixty rule, corresponding angles, alternate angles, vertically opposite, one eighty in a triangle, the ninety with the base as the diameter. We don't use that here. The tangent rule is probably the most important rule, and then spotting your isosceles triangles. People are, are, are very bad at that for some reason. Okay, so if you've got your circle, two radii are basically that can form an isosceles triangle. That angle is the same as that angle. And the clue to which angles are the same is these lines point to the two angles that are the same. Okay, if you imagine they're like little arrows. All right, good stuff, guys. Um, but yeah, good question. I enjoy that.